Okay, class. Remember last week, we talked about the rising action, the climax, and the falling action? See the picture? Think of a ladder or the stairs. Mm -hmm, very good. We're going to be talking about the different parts of a story. We'll read together at the class, then you'll be working on your own, then hopefully we can start reading Earthquake Terror, okay? Questions before we begin? Questions? No? Okay. What does every story need? Very important that every story had these. One, the plot, the theme, the characters, the setting, and the conflict. Means the problem. Okay? We're going to talk about each one. What is the plot? It thinks about the organization of the main events of the work from the story. Most plots will look at the changes in which the characters are in a complex or problem that's eventually solved. Okay? Remember? The diagram, first we have the X position, which is the beginning of the story. We'll talk about it later. Number two, the rising action before the problem occurred. Three, the climax. Okay? Then we have the falling action, number four. The last one, resolution, number five. What happened at the end of the story? What happened? Got it? Now we'll talk about each one. Okay. Yes, talk about number one, exposition. That usually occurs in the beginning of a short story. That is when the characters are being introduced. And they talk about the setting of the story. Okay? There may be other parts that you need to know to help you understand the story. You see the red box? Uh, that's the beginning. It's in the beginning of our diagram. Okay? Then we move. Questions. Beginning. Do it with me. Beginning. 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 Yeah. Beginning of the story. Number two. The rising action. It includes all of the events that lead up to the climax before the problem occurs. So. It may show you a type of complex, okay, before the climax. It's rising action. See the red? Same. <laughs> yep, going up. Like the ladder that I talked about, yeah. or the stairs, it's leading up to the point. Number three, the climax. That is the high point. Usually the main character has come face to face with the conflict. Okay? The main character will change in some way. The highest. Think of on top of the stairs or a ladder. Yeah, finish at the top. Okay? Number four, following action. The story looks at the consequences of the climax and the tension phase. What happened after the climax? 
or what happened after the problem occurred. Okay? You are now going down the stairs or the ladder. Okay? See? You good? Got it? Yeah. Last one, number five, re-solution. The story comes to a reasonable ending. What happened? What happened at the end of the story? Finish. Okay? So I'm going to read a story that you may have seen before, and I'm going to show you how you're going to find all five of those to help you when you are reading. Got it? So, now we're going to put it all together. Number one and two. The X position and the rising action, they are both in the beginning of the story. Number three, the climax happens in the middle of the story. Yes? Number four, ball in action, and the resolution happened at the end of the story. You see that? Beginning, middle, end. Just like that picture. You see? Yeah. Got it? Good. Who's that? That's Prince, the Prince, Cinderella, bigger spell. So, we're going to look at that story. I'm going to read it and show you how we're going to find the beginning, the middle, and the end. The rising, the climax, and the falling actions. Okay? Ready? It's a good story. It's one of my favorites. I love it. Okay. Once upon a time, in the land far away, there lived a girl named Cinderella. She lived with her evil stepmom and two evil stepsisters. Okay? You see the beginning of the story? They introduced the characters and they talked about the seven, the time, a long time ago and the place was in a land far away. You see how that works? Who are the characters? Marlon. Very good. I like that. 
father. Why do you think she has to work all day? Why? Uh, you think that her evil stepmom likes her? No. So she's making her work all day long. Jordan. See that? Do you understand? Okay. So, now, Cinderella thought all hope was lost until the fairy godmother appeared. She was dressed in a beautiful gown. See the blue dress and the last slippers. Shoes. So Cinderella rushed off to go to the dance or the ball. Okay? That's a rising action. What's happening? Questions? Got it? Good.